Okay, this is Theo again for KiboMed, and we're going to go over the actual keys and functions of the KX5000 uh, machine here. Um, it's a pretty good standard layout. Um, you have your image on the left here, uh, all your variables here. Um, so we'll start out with the preset button. This allows you to change things like your formulas for OB settings. Um, if you select the normal part, you could put in like hospital name, change the date, the time, language settings, and then how you save via USB. Um, you should be set it to auto so it automatically goes straight to your USB. That's what most people prefer for saving images. Um, and then we have our, uh, start on the left side and move across. This button over here is if you're doing a biopsy and have some sort of needle guided procedure. Uh, not very many people use that, but sometimes veterinarians, it's possible. Um, we have the store recall button. When you hit that, you get uh, four things that come up. The most, and, and you use this if you don't have your USB set for automatic transfer. So if you're doing this, the mass copy will just dump everything onto the computer onto your USB. Uh, if you open it, that's the top one here, you can select from your C drive, which is the computer, to like an A drive, which is a USB, and save, delete, or copy uh, from the computer to the USB and vice versa. So it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's not that challenging to get that going. Um, then we have a Cine button, which once you have several images, you can loop through what you've frozen. So if you want to look at things. Uh, going towards the middle of the screen, we have our different modes. So B mode is your standard image mode. That's what's always on the screen, just one screen. You can have a B slash B. So what that is essentially a split screen. So like a before and after, depending on what you're looking at. You can have the 4B mode, which we've covered also before. And essentially that's four separate images on one screen. Uh, some people like that for comparisons. Some people don't use it as much. Another setting is the B slash M mode. So this is good for measuring heart rate. So you have your 2D image that you normally have. And on this side is the M mode. So you'll be measuring heart rate while looking at it. Um, or if you don't want the dual, you can have just M mode for heart rate. Completely up to the user. Uh, coming up to the right here, uh, obviously the center is the keyboard. That's relatively self-explanatory. Um, you have your settings for gain. So gain is overall brightness, and that's signified here, GN. You can increase the overall or decrease it. There's also a near and a far gain. So you can increase the gain on basically the top half or the bottom half of the screen, depending on what you'll be looking at. Um, getting to the middle here, uh, we have a focus button. So focus is on the left side. That's the sharpest and clearest area of the image, depending on, on what type of setting you have. So you can have one, two, three, and you can move those uh, when you have just one with the arrows to the left here, so you can see it going up and down. And you usually want that pretty much at the area that you're looking at. Uh, it's a basic function. Um, we have our set button, which basically we use to set our measurements. This button here, magnifying glass, is somewhat self-explanatory. You zoom in. You can't really see this well here because we don't have an image, but it just does an overall zoom. Um, this right here is a button that's used for uh, frame compression. That's something that you can use to change the sharpness of some of the pictures. Not a setting that most people use, but you can play around with it till you, so you figure out what, how it works in your specific setting. Um, this button here changes your frequency. So that is a button that most people do use, and that's signified up here. Uh, the lower the frequency, the deeper you can penetrate into the animal that you're looking at, the less resolution, the higher the frequency, the shallower you can get, but the uh, more clear the image will be. Uh, moving along, we have another zoom button. This one comes up with a specific screen, so if you want to focus on one area specifically, put that over what you're looking at, hit set, and then it'll zoom in. Um, these two here are uh, for uh, are going to be for our uh, post-processing and edge enhancement stuff that you really won't use as much. Um, so you can mess around with those, but that's, they're, they're available essentially. Uh, you also have an OB calc package, and uh, here's our freeze button. And you can see when it's frozen by the um, snowflake. Aside from that, uh, we have our standard print button, and that's used for saving the images, self-explanatory. And then we have uh, our basic measurements. So basically, hit the B mode, um, set one point, set the other, comes up as measurements, and that's for both B mode and M mode. Uh, and then finally, obviously, is the comment button that's also self-explanatory. You hit it, you set where you want to type, and then. Uh, hit again and then you're out. So that's the basic rundown of the keyboard. If you have more questions and more 
uh, or any issues, go ahead and feel free to use the user manual and there'll be some more explanations.